National Prayer Team uh, and stuff, and they pray over your prayer request daily, daily, uh, 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 and everything. And so, you know, I want to make that available to the people. We are a ministry that do believe in the power of prayer. We do believe in the power of prayer. Uh, another thing also is that I've written several books, and you'll see that <clears throat> when they go to my when they when they go to the bookstore. I've written several books on worship, on prayer, on just different subjects and things like that. Uh, and uh, the, the, uh, sure, something uh, will be there that that, that will bless them uh, as well. So, you know, I think we've just about covered everything, my friend. So do I. I don't think I can actually ask you any more questions. I have five of them. And then we ended up in, like I always say, when God speaks, we ended up getting into a topic about worship and things. And and like I said, I don't expect this to happen. I expect it to come on, do a five-question interview, about, you know, mm-hmm. 45 minutes to an hour. We should, we should be done, play a song, do the interview, and then we should be done. But then God sometimes changes his mind and says, yes, we're going to do the interview, but we're going to add a little more to that. And that's what that's why I like doing this because that way it blesses the people when you let the Holy Spirit take over. Yes. And it's like when when I was in school because I went through ministry school. I got my associate's degree in the Worship Arts Institute from my former church, oh. Evangel, over at uh, uh-huh. over at uh, Evangel in Roseville, Michigan. Oh. And I got my associate's degree through them. But uh, one of my teachers used to come in every morning or every day during class, the beginning of class, and play a song. And it was such such an atmosphere that you know that when he, once he was done playing, you knew that God was there. Yeah. You didn't have to see it, but you knew God was there. It would be like me walking through a room, dropping my mm-hmm. suit jacket on the floor, and then mm-hmm. exiting the room. You know that I was there. You can see that suit mm-hmm. jacket lying on the floor, but you don't see me. We didn't see God, but we knew that he was there. He left such a presence with, God left such a presence in that room at that moment that we knew he was there. Amen. And that's what I like. that Because when the Holy Spirit takes over, there is nothing else in this world that can, that can who is, if, if God before you, or the Holy Spirit yeah. before you, who can be against you? No, I mean, when the Holy Spirit takes over, that's it. There's nothing else in this world. that Satan can throw anything he wants at you when the Holy Spirit takes over, but that Holy Spirit going, nope, he's blocking that one. He goes, nope, I'm blocking that one over here. He goes, nope, you're not doing that. Nope. I mean, it's just, it's just the way God is. And when God does show up and show off, it's just things happen. You know, diseases start, you know, being healed and... Just the mood itself from people start being healed. You know, people of depression and mood swings and bipolar and all this. It just it just starts coming off of people and people becoming start to become like the Bible says, with a sane mind, with a sound mind. I should call it. Yeah, yeah. Not with a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. And people start getting that sound mind, and that's when God can be can be glorified even more through that as well. But when the Holy Spirit takes over, that's it. Yeah. That's well, it. Praise the Lord, my brother. Amen. Amen. I appreciate you having me on. Oh, no, not a problem. I actually thank you because I was going to say to begin with before I started, this is a treat for me because, uh, don't get me wrong, I've had guests on here and I've had people who are great people, but it's just it's a treat because... I enjoy listening to you on a regular, everyday basis, and the fact that you actually said yes to coming on was just, it just made, it just made my week, because I enjoy listening to what you have going on, and I, I still listen to those videos every day, and I got you going on that stage, and you're, man, there, because, just like I told my wife the other day, because I got a new perspective on God now, because being that I was, uh, when my mouth problems and I was losing a lot of blood and being that the doctor wanted to put me on blood transfusions and told me if I would have went to bed that night, things would have not been good for me. I have a whole new respect on perspective of God now that he saved me from going to get that eternal sleep, as I call it. Yeah. And so, yeah. and now, and 
now every day it's like I can listen to a song that I've listened to for years before and then all of a sudden it has totally new meaning now just because of one situation that God dealt with in my life. So let's pray real quick, shall we? Yes, sir. I'll start and then you can finish if you'd like to. Lord, we thank you that we once again get to come together as the family of God. Yes, Lord, this is the family of TGIF. Thank God it's forever. But it's the family of God that we think that we get to come together again. And to do nothing, Lord, but to learn more about you and to not just learn about you, but learn about what you're doing in others' lives with this gentleman here, uh, Evangelist Dudley Smith, what you're doing in his life and the things that you're doing through him, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that You use worship on a regular basis, Lord, to do some miraculous things, to do healings, to do testimonies and touching people's lives in many different ways. Because, yes, Lord, the Word can go forth and the Word can touch people's lives too, Lord, but there's just something about true godly worship that we thank you for, Lord. Because we realize, Lord, that back in the day when, when, before you even died, that we weren't even allowed to to that place called the Holies of Holy, that we had to be some important figure, that when you died, that you rent that veil in two, and you said, no, that's not the case. My son that lives over here in Ohio is going to be able to come and to worship me and be in that Holies of Holy and not have to be somebody important anymore. That when you rent that veil in two, and that you went and died for us, that we can now come boldly to the throne, come boldly to you, Lord, whether it's through the word or through worship or through prayer, that we get to come boldly before you, Lord, and as the Bible says, to make our request known to God. We thank you, Lord, that people as as of right now, at the sound of our voice, Lord, are being healed from different diseases like cancers and diabetes like I have, and, you know, all these muscular dystrophies, and people like my mom, Lord, who has her arm who's frozen that can't move, and my mother-in-law who doesn't walk very well, that people right now, as we speak, are being touched and being healed from these diseases. And yes, Lord, I also pray for those to be healed that contracted diseases themselves through sin. Why do I say that, Lord? Because it shows your mercy, your power, and your grace. I'm reminded of a scripture that you passed through the door, the Bible says. It doesn't say you opened the door. It says you passed through. He said, Thomas, look at my hands. Thrust your finger into my side and see that I'm not God. Thomas got on his knees and said, what, Lord? He says, Bl-. he says, truly, you are the Son of God. He said, you said, Lord, blessed are those who have seen and believed. But it doesn't stop there. It says, blessed are those who have not seen yet still believe. So show them now, Lord, your mercy, your power, your grace, your healing touch. So that way, Lord, when they come back to you again, they will not have to see it anymore to believe it because they've seen it already. So bless them who's contracted themselves, Lord. So that way, finally, when they come, they can say, you know what? There is a God out there, and I don't want to know who he is, and I want to know more about this God that just did that for me. So we thank you, Lord. Go ahead and pray if you'd like. Yes, Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you, God, for this time that we've had together. And God, we yes, pray Father. now, God, Lord, for the listeners, God, and pray, God, Lord, that they were edified, Lord, by what was what, said. Today, we thank you for your Holy Spirit as you led and guided us in this, uh, this conversation. Father, we give you praise and we give you glory, Lord. Now I ask, God, Lord, that you continue Lord, that touch your people, heal, save, deliver, set free by the blood of the Lamb right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody needs a miracle right now, God. Touch them right now, Father, Lord. Somebody needs a song ministering to them, God. Let that music begin to minister to them right now, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, God. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for Brother Catholic and his program, God. Use him, God. Use him, God. He's lifting you up, God. He's magnifying your name, God, Lord. Lord, let, let let this program be an edification to the body of Christ, Father. Use it, God, to your glory in the name of Jesus Christ, Father. We thank you, God, for all the promises that you perform in our life. Thank you, God. We cannot thank you enough, God. We praise you for your goodness, your grace, your kindness, your mercy 
We give you glory and we give you honor, Lord. We lift up your name, God, in our song and in our prayer and, in, and Lord, and in our dissertations. We exalt and we extol your name, O oh God, Lord. And, God, we're going to continue to give you glory, Lord. Bless this program, God. Lord, just, uh, just, just multiply the listenership, God. Multiply it, God. In the name of Jesus, we put this particular program into your hands, God. Now you glorify yourself through it. In Jesus' name, God. God, we thank you, God, Lord, that you chose us to be a part of your work. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. God, we're going to work hard, and we're going to work diligent at it, God, that you may be pleased in what we do, God. I thank you for my brother. I ask you to bless him, bless his family. God, everything that concerns him, bless whatever he puts his hands to do, cause it to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. And, God, we're going to forever give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. And, Amen. And Lord, we ask you also, Lord, to bless bah, Evangelist Dudley over here, Lord. Bless my brother. Bless his ministry, Lord. Give him an even stronger anointing than he already has. Because, yes, Lord, the anointing, can, the anointing can be one strength, but it can get even stronger with you, Lord. So give him an even stronger anointing to where he can reach even more souls than he is reaching at this moment, Lord. Because... What we are doing is good, Lord, but we want to reach the masses. We want to reach the multitude. We want to be just like you. Because the Bible says, Lord, that we will do greater works than even you've done. Not as in quantity, but quality. But we want to reach the masses. When you fed the 5,000, including women and children, with two fish and three loaves, we want to do stuff like that. We want to reach the masses. We want to bring the word to as many people as we can. So I ask you, Lord, to give him an even stronger anointing that he can reach even further than what he's reached already. And bless him with whatever he needs, Lord, his finance, whether it's needing finances or whether he needs whatever it is that he needs, Lord. Give him his heart's desires because, Lord, I know just as much as you do, Lord, that his heart is set upon you. His heart is set for you and you alone. So give him his heart's desires, Lord. Give him everything that his ministry his physical life, reading his home, his situations like that need. Give him everything that his heart desires, Lord, and bless him to the point to where it will knock his socks off. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. 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 It's been a pleasure, Brother Kuzlik. Oh, it's been uh, a pleasure, too, and I'm hoping that one day we can do something like this again, because this was absolutely fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, well, wonderful, wonderful, yeah. Just let me know. We'll do it again and stuff. Uh, don't forget to send me your mailing address so I can get some things out in the mail to you. Oh, yes, definitely so. And I will definitely be donating to the ministry. Now, like, it won't be a whole ton, but it will be it will be a good blessing. I'll at least give you something. All right, my friend. God bless you now. Thank you very much for taking your time. And one more thing we got to do before we end. This is TGIF, guys, reminding you to, one, trust in the Lord in all your ways. Two, lean not to your own understandings. And three, in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Again, thank you, brother. Thank you, and good night.